Hello there. Um, this is a picture that was given to me to draw by Commander Picard. I'm starting it out with um, just a bit of pencil crayon to work out where everything's going to go. It's unusual, this one. It's um, it's an optical effect that's been created by positioning the camera and the spaceship in front of a black hole, which has got a nebula behind it, or it's lensing a nebula. So it's the colours are super bright and strong and vivid. Lots of purples and oranges and pinks and blue in there as well. And but it's a sort of sight that you don't see otherwise because of the the shapes that are created by the black hole in the center you can just see the little disc in the center starting to appear there uh yeah this is um mission farsight this is uh commander picard who stays out he just he doesn't come home he, he he's out there he's he's updated his mission recently to be five years now <laughs> I, I, it's truly incredible he submits his things to edsm which is the elite dangerous star map which you can sort of scroll in it's it's um it's pretty pretty amazing tool and um, commanders can input their their finds onto it and um name their finds as well if they wish to and um yeah the most incredible things he's found he's, he's he's got a ridiculous number of systems that he's discovered uh i had this like thousands and th 20 odd th more probably i think i don't know what the situation is with his cartographic data whether that's just not important because if you never go if you never go home you can't pay it in can you i mean he, he must have discovered more than any other commander i would have thought so yeah i'm just starting to develop the uh, the wispy edges of the cloud here the 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 nebula shapes you can because as it fades out the edges of it are visually being sort of dragged out round the circle but i mean obviously this is not what the nebula really looks like this is how he's put the camera how he's put his spaceship there look this is the spaceship just there at the bottom with its um engine trails there so um yeah it's uh it, it was a lovely one to do actually it was really enjoyable because it's so bright and so intense and so many colors you just, normally there's an awful lot of black <laughs> an awful lot of dark blue which is still you know graceful and beautiful and wonderful to do but this is unusual this this is an unusual picture so i i um i thought it really needed him to talk about it as well because he, he's uh, constantly puts his pictures on Twitter and I, I off, I've been following him for years because his stuff is fab. And uh, so I, I asked him if he'd be able to talk about this one and, and he did, which is so kind of him and so lovely. So basically the end of this video is just him talking about this picture and, and taking it, I guess. So uh, enjoy. <laughs> So this picture was one of my all-time favorites on our journey so far. It was um, taken in front of a black hole with a nebula backdrop. It was taken in ELLAIDBA-A -A G1. Um, according to Elite Dangerous Star Map or EDSM, there have only been five ships that have passed through this particular system and seen this. Um, I really think it went well with the backdrop. I can't thank Beetlejuice enough for painting it for us. Um, it really is quite something. Um, it was taken last October 15th, uh, 2019. Seems like a decade ago, but there it is. Um, it is somewhere between the bubble and the core. Uh, I believe it's pretty close to the Neutron Superhighway um, out to Colonia. Uh, so go check it out for sure. It's definitely, again, one of the better views that I've enjoyed. I can't tell you what else was in the system because I honestly don't remember. And according to my photos, uh, it looks like these were the only images I took of that system. So uh, go check it out. It's not too far from the bubble. something to do, and it's uh, definitely worth the visit. Absolutely. Again, thank you to uh, Commander Beetlejuice for painting this, and thank you to everybody 
who continues to support Mission Farsight and myself through the last four years. We look forward to a fifth year and possibly more. Um, but uh, thank you guys, and I will see you in the black.